All right, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get Visual Boy Advance Emulator. An emulator that allows you to play Game Boy Advance slash Game Boy Color games on your computer. So if you go down to the link in the description, the first link will probably be this link right here, coolrom.com. It's gonna bring you to this page, and if you scroll down to the bottom and click download now, a new tab will open. It's gonna say, please wait, your download button will appear in five seconds or eight seconds. Once that countdown is finished, you're gonna be presented with a link that says download your file. So you can download that and save it to wherever you want. In my case, I have it saved to my desktop. So wherever you have your file saved, you're going to want to right click and then click extract to whatever the folder name is. So once you extract that, you can go into your folder and you have, you're going to have two files. This VBA file won't be there unless, until you actually open up the emulator. So now that you have the emulator, if you open it up, you're going to have a black screen because you have no ROMs yet. ROMs are the, are the games that you're allowed to play. So the emulator is done, that part's done. Now I'm gonna show you how to get ROMs. So if you go back to that website that you were just on, you scroll up to the top, there's gonna be a tab that says ROM files. If you scroll down, click Game Boy Advance, you're gonna be presented with the top 25 downloaded Game Boy Advance ROMs. If none of these ROMs appeal to you, you can go to ROM search right here and search whatever Game Boy Advance slash Game Boy Color game you want. Most people, I'm guessing, would probably click Pokemon as you can tell by this large amount of people that downloaded it. So that's how you get ROMs. But now I'm going to show you how to get hacked ROMs. And what a hacked ROM is, it's someone who took the game. So let's just say Pokemon Fire Red. Someone took Pokemon Fire Red, went into the game, and they changed everything up to make their own Pokemon game. So since I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to, get, I guess, get a hacked version of Fire Red, you're going to want to download Pokemon Fire Red. Same steps as before, click download now, wait for the download button to appear, and save that to wherever you want. So download your file, and save that. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Wait for that download to finish. Now that it's finished, you can navigate to that folder where you had it saved. If you right click, and click extract to, you're going to have a folder. Inside the folder, you're going to have a pokemon fire Red binary file and then a readme. The readme is trash. You don't really need to read that. So if you go into the emulator, there's two ways you can open up your ROM. You can either go into the folder and just drag it right in there and it starts playing. Or you can click File, Open, go to the folder where you saved your Pokemon game, open up that, and it'll start up from there. Personally, I use the file and then open just to keep my games more organized. If your screen flashes and then your toolbar turns white, don't worry, it's just running your computer in compatibility mode to make the game more, more enjoyable. So now that you have your Pokemon Fire Red game, I'm going to show you how to get a hacked version of that. So if you go to the second link in the description, wackahackpokemon.com, you're going to be brought to this page that has a bunch of hacked Pokemon games. Most of them are Espanol, and if you don't know what that means, Spanish. Which means this is made for people in Spain, so the subtitles or when you're playing the game, everything is going to be in Spanish. And I don't read Spanish. So you're going to want to look for one of the games that says English. Some might say English and some, some might say Espanol and some might say both. As you can see right here, it says English B2 and Italiano B2. B2 or B whatever, CB1, B3, B2, that's just beta. So this game is not fully completed. This game, however, Ruby Destiny Life of Gardens, it is fully completed. English Hap Completo, which means completed. For one of the Let's Plays that I'm going to be starting on my channel, I'm going to be downloading Pokemon Sienna. Luckily for me, it's in English, but it's not a fully completed game. It's still in beta days. But let's just say it appeals to me. You know, there's a nice Lugia on top of the, on top of the, um, the picture. You want to want to click it. I right clicked it by accident. That's why it brought me to a new page. And then it's going to tell you to download it. I'm going to save that to my desktop again. 
Now that you have that saved, you're going to want to extract it as usual. So extract to, and then you have a folder. If you go into that folder and you try and drag this into your Visual Boy Advance emulator, it's not going to work. You're going to have an error. That's because you have to patch the ROM. To patch the ROM, the third link in the description is going to be this link. Fusoya dot whatever. Once you're brought to this page, you're going to want to go to Lunar IPS WinZip file. So you're going to want to click it and download that, save that to wherever you want to. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Extract that. So once I extract that, I'm going to have a program that says Lunar IPS. So you can open that and you're going to have three options, about lips, create IPS patch or apply IPS patch. I'm going to be applying a patch. So once I click apply, apply patch, it's going to open up a folder. This is where you want to navigate to wherever you saved your Pokemon hacked ROM. And I have PSB3, that's Pokemon Sienna Beta 3. So now I'm going to want to navigate to that folder. So I'll go to desktop, scroll down to P, PSB3, open it. And I'm going to have a heart, Pokemon Sienna dash Beta 3. I'm going to open that. Sorry for the lag. Oh, I didn't click it. So you're going to want to click it, click open, and then it's going to open another folder. The reason why it's uploading another, uh, opening another folder is because every Pokemon game has a base. And what a base is, it's the game that they decided to take and base their game off of. So the base for this is Pokemon Fire Red, FR. All Pokemon ROM hacks have a different base. So this base is Ruby, this base is Fire Red, this is Ruby, Fire Red. Most of them seem to be Fire Red or Ruby. So once you have that second folder that opened, you're going to want to navigate to wherever you saved your Pokemon game. So for Pokemon Sienna, the person based his game off Fire Red. So now I'm going to want to go to where I downloaded Fire Red. Pokemon Fire Red. I'm going to want to open it. And then it's going to say the file was successfully patched. If I exit out of all of that and I go into my Game Boy Advance, I click File, Open, and I navigate to where I previously had Pokemon Fire Red, right here. It's not going to be Pokemon Fire Red anymore. It's going to be a completely different game. And this is the Pokemon hacked game. In my case, it's Pokemon Sienna. So that's how you get the Pokemon Digital Boy Advance, ROM hacks, and emulators. I'm going to be doing more tutorials like this. My next tutorial is probably going to be on Project 64, the Nintendo 64 emulator, and how to get hacked ROMs for this. In my case, it's going to be Super Mario 674, the Let's Play that I started. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a like and a favorite, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching. Peace.